Well, I'm as big as my giant statue. Well, maybe not quite that big. Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can change the background music here in Minecraft Bedrock. You hear it in the background, that's my new music track. There it is. Okay, let's switch over to the desktop, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, here we are on the desktop, and the first thing you'll need, of course, will be some new music tracks. I have six right here, because we'll be changing the music tracks for creative mode, and there are six of those in the game. Now the song that you heard in the background just a moment ago, that's this one up here called Away. Let me just open this up. That's this piece right here. There we go. We were about in here someplace when I was recording that first opening section. Now the reason why these all have this cone shape is because I'm using the VLC media player. If you're using a different media player, you'll have a different icon. Don't worry about that, not important. Okay, let's just get those out of the way. Okay, so we have our first six tracks here. I grabbed all of these from the YouTube audio library so they won't knock this video off of YouTube, so we're safe that way. And the first thing we need to do is to convert these to the OGG format. That's what we need to use. And for that, I like using a program called Audacity. Let me bring that up. There it is. Now it's real easy to do this. Let's just put that right here. And I'm just going to take one of these and just drag and drop it into the program like that. That's simple. If you want to, you can convert this to mono, but it's not necessary. To convert the mono, go up here to Tracks come down to Remix, and then Stereo down to Mono. That will do that for you. You need to do that if you're doing regular sounds, like case open sounds, you know, things like that, stepping sounds, but you don't have to do that necessarily for background music. Go up to File, come down to Export, and Export as OGG. There it is. It should be in the same location that you pulled that sound from, and that is. Choose Save, choose OK. Let that save it out, and then we should see it over here as an OGG file. And there we go, right there. Okay, do the same thing for these other five files. I'll just do one more just to repeat this, and I'll do the rest of these off camera. Okay, pull your file in like that. Go up to File, come down to Export, OGG. Looks good, choose Save, OK. Let it save it out. And there we go, there's the OGG file. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll take a break here just for a second, and I'll finish these last four sound files. Okay, that's all done. We can now close down the Audacity program. There we go. Now the next thing we need to do is to build the folder structure to put our new sounds into, and for that we need to grab a vanilla resource pack. Let me bring up a browser window, and I'll show you where you can get a brand new copy of that. Here we are right. Minecraft.net add-ons. I'll put this link in the description, so you just click on that to get to this page. Now you want to come in here and scroll down past these two pictures here, and this little paragraph right there, and click on that link, Resource Packs. You can then download the Vanilla Resource Pack. Let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. I'll put it in the same folder as our sound files. Choose Save, and that's taken care of. Now get rid of this, and there's that Resource Pack. Now I'm going to right-click on this and Extract All, same location. There we go. We'll let this go ahead and Finish. There it is, and it opened up in a new window for us. Now I need a few things in here. We need to have this manifest JSON, so I'm just going to right drag that over here and copy. We also need this pack icon PNG, same thing, right drag that over here and copy. There we go. Let's now go inside the sounds folder right here, and let's open up sound definitions.json. Now I have mine opening up in a program called Notepad. It's a free download, and it's the best way to work with these JSON files. I'll put a link for that in the description. There we go. And let's do a search and find those music files. So do a search, find. Mine's already set for music. Find next. And that gets us down into the music section. Okay. Now we find a couple of things here. First off, you'll find the folder structure for the music. And that's this bit right in here. And you find the name of the music files. And that one is Calm 1. Now we want to have the creative music. So I'll just scroll down here until we find the creative. This is all your survival stuff in here. Let's keep on going down, and here's the creative stuff right there. So there's all of our files. Let me open this up just a little bit. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's our sound files. And then here is the path, sounds, music, game, creative. We need to make this folder structure here over inside of our window here. So let's just put this right there so we can see that. There we go. And new folder. First one is going to be sounds. Go inside of that. New folder music. There it is, inside of that one, new folder game, inside of that, new folder creative, 
and inside of here is where our music files go. Okay, so that's all set to go. There's our path. We also need to rename our files. Now I can get rid of my MP3 files. I have them saved elsewhere on my disk. So I'll just go ahead and I'll delete the MP3 stuff. We no longer need that. Get that out of the way. That one and that one. And there's our six OGG files or OGG files. And these are named Creative 1 through Creative 6. I need to rename those. I'm just going to right click, copy that. Let's go to our first one here. Right click and paste. Go to the second one. Right click, paste, and I'll type over that and make it a 2. And the same thing for the rest of these. Right click, paste. That one's 3. And then this one right here, right click, paste. That one is number 4. Over here, right click, paste. That's number 5. And our last one right down here, right click, paste. And that one is number 6. Okay, all of our sound files are now named correctly. Let's not get them into the right folder. I'm just going to take these things right click and cut let's go inside of our folders right here right click and paste there we go let's change our view here to large icons so that's all set to go when i need to get this set up to make it a resource pack so we can clean some things up let's close that window down we're done with that i'm done with that no longer need that you can hang on to this folder if you want to for future use that's fine i don't need it i have this saved elsewhere on my hard drive so i'll get rid of this one and i'll get rid of that one there we go nice and clean okay the pack icon png this can be anything that you want it's just a square image at a png files 256 by 256 pixels square image i'll leave mine at the default but again you can make your own picture there if you want to no problem now the manifest json we need to adjust this one a little bit now this is a json file again so i'll be opening this up in notepad plus plus let's bring that up double click here we go couple of things we need to do in here. First off, we need to change the description up here. Let's give this thing a new name. And I'll call it Background Music. And I'll name it 2, since I already had one for my example at the beginning of the video. Let's select that just inside the quotes. And then put that right here also. Right click, paste. And then right down here. Those can all say the exact same thing. And paste. Okay. Now we have these UUID codes. There's one here and there's one down here. We need to change these things. Now what I do is I just add some additional value on the end over here. The last one I made I used eight. This time I'll use nine. So I'll make this one 31. And down here that's gonna make this one 28. These are really just like license plates on a car. They have to be different for every single resource pack in your copy of Minecraft. So if you just change those end numbers, that's just fine. If you ever have a duplicate, it will tell you, and then just go back and change them to a different number, and you're okay. Okay, that's good. Let's choose Save, and that's all set to go. We're now ready to make this into a resource pack, so I'm going to select all of that, go up to Share, and then Zip, and then give this one a name. Call it Background Music 2. Now at this point, we need to change that .zip into a .mc pack. Now if you don't see that .zip on there, Go up to view, go over here and put a check right there where it says Phonem Extensions. You'll then see that .zip. And then click into the name and just type over that and make it say MC Pack. There we go. And choose Yes. And the icon should change. If the icon doesn't change, just go back one folder here, go back in your folder again, and it will then be changed at that point. And this is what we'll use to put that into the game. Now, for this next step, make sure that Minecraft is not running. If you have Minecraft open in the background, just close it down for this next step. Now, just double click on this. This will then launch the game and it will install this or import this into Minecraft. So, I'll double click like that and I'll go ahead and get this launched into Minecraft. Make sure it says import started up here. Here we go, successfully imported background music too. That's all set to go. Okay, now let's activate that pack, go into settings. And then scroll down here until we get to Global Resources and go into My Packs right there. There's our background music. Click on that. Click on Activate. Let's make sure it's showing up here, Background Music 2. There it is. That's what we just made. Let's go back to our title screen. It's going to reload that pack. Let's now play that and make sure that it's giving us our new background music. Click on Play. And I'm in my main world right here. There we go. Now it plays the songs at random out of your list. It could play any one of those six songs. This one's different than the one we had before, so there we go. And it's now playing our new background music. And there's a chicken running around. 
So there you go. That's how you can change the background music here inside of Minecraft Bedrock. And I'll see you next time.